let's download and install Unity. All right, so to download and install Unity, you first of all are going to navigate to unity.com slash download. Link is, of course, in the description below. And right here, you can download it for Windows, or if you scroll down a little bit, you can also download it for Mac, and there are also instructions for Linux. When you click the download button, the Unity Hub Setup EXE is going to download and will install this onto our PC like any other program. First of all, of course, you need to agree to the terms over here and then give a destination folder and then install. While it's installing in the background, there is one thing that is quite important, and that is a Unity ID. So if you are a student or you're using this for personal use, then you can get started for free. Absolutely no worries. The one eligibility over here is just that the revenue or funding is less than 100k in the last 12 months. This should be probably true for about 99% of people who are watching a how to install Unity tutorial. So you should be totally fine. But at some point, if you get so successful that this might no longer be true, be sure that you will then need to upgrade to either Unity Pro or Unity Plus. So just keep that in mind. And there we go. Unity Hub has been successfully installed. So let's finish and run it as well. And when it opens, something like this will appear here for the first time. It should usually always give you the LTS version. So you can see this by this little LTS. That just means long-term support. Port. The version 2022.3 is simply going to be a version that is going to be supported with bug fixes and the like for a long time. So basically two years, I think, is the normal cycle for Unity versions to get the long-term support. Here you can also determine the location of where each editor should be installed because sometimes it might be good to have multiple Unity editor versions installed, right? So let's say the next version comes out 2022.4 or maybe even 2023.1, something like that, then you might also want to install that to test out new features or things like that and they will then also be installed in the same location what i actually suggest you do is you skip the installation because there's a tiny thing that we can do if we are on this installs over here that we can change but before we install the editor let's first of all log into unity hub with this user account over here you can sign in and it's going to open the unity id if you don't have one of course you can create one now i of course already have one so i'm just going to sign in right here and then we're going to open this in Unity Hub. And if we go back, I'm now logged in. While the Unity account is not strictly necessary, I'm pretty sure it's still a good idea to basically have this. And now we can click on the install editor right here. We're going to, of course, choose the LTS version, the newest one, right? 2022.3.5 F1. This might already be a little bit advanced when you watch this in the future. So it might be 3.6 F2 or something like that. So just be aware that basically the year as well as the number after the year is usually the thing that you want to look out for. And we're going to install this. And now we actually get to add some modules ourselves. And this is actually quite important. So for the tutorials on this channel, I'm always going to use the Visual Studio Computer Community Edition over here. This is checked by default if you install Unity via the installs right here. And it is not checked if you install it with the prompt at the very beginning. So we're going to basically have this checked. If you want to build your games for Android, for example, you will have to check this, the Android build support. Now we're not going to do this for the time being. Similar for other things, for Mac support, a couple of other things like language packs. Now, one thing I do want is I definitely want the documentation because there's no reason not to get it. It's 300 megabytes. So get that in as well. And that is going to be pretty much everything that we're going to do. Then we're going to hit continue and you can see that the Visual Studio 2022 community license terms that you can basically read with this link. You can, of course, take a look at this once again, similar to the idea of the student and the free version of Unity. Basically, you should be good to go with those terms. But of course, read those through thoroughly before you agree to them. And then you can hit install. And now we're going to have to wait for quite a while. This is going to take a little bit because first of all, it's going to download the editor and the documentation. And then Visual Studio Community Edition is going to install. And there's going to be a couple of more with windows that will open while the installation is running. So in here, I highly recommend you stay patient. Just wait a little bit, you know, maybe make yourself a tea or something because it is going to take a little while. We're of course going to jump over this with the power of editing. And if something interesting happens, then I'm going to continue to explain certain things. So everything has been downloaded now. It's now installing each individual step over here. You can see right now it's installing the editor. After that, it's going to install Visual Studio and then it's going to also install the documentation. Right now it's installing the Visual Studio Community Edition 2022. And as I previously said, the installer here will open up. So basically take a look at the software license terms as well as the privacy statement. If that is something that you are interested in, then we can just continue. And you can see it's basically going to download the Visual Studio installer. So this is a separate program that actually needs downloading before the actual Visual Studio can get installed. It's a little bit complicated and convoluted, but it should happen automatically. And this window will appear. Now, it's quite important that we do this correctly. You want to scroll down right here and you want to make sure that you check the game development with Unity and you don't want to install Unity Hub. 
right? So this is basically going to be a quite important thing to do. So you want to install this gaming module right here, right? This workload. And you want to uncheck Unity Hub because, of course, we already have installed Unity Hub. So it doesn't need to be installed anymore. And the rest should be fine for default. So we can just hit install and then it's going to download the well, everything that it's going to need. And it's then also going to start installing once everything has downloaded. Once again, this will probably take a couple of minutes. So just be patient. Let this run through. Luckily, we only need to do this once and then we're going to be good to go. We can also uncheck the start after installation because in this case, we don't need to start Visual Studio Community Edition just yet. We are going to do this via Unity in just a minute once that has been installed as well. There we go. Visual Studio has been installed. And if we now close this window under Unity Hub, you can see that the installation has been been completed so everything here is installed we can hit the x and you can see under installed you should now have your very own 2022.3 point whatever the version might be in the future of unity installed and to create your first project let's actually go to projects and then you want to click the new project over here and there's going to be tons of things thrown your way what you can do is you can choose the 3d or the 2d core either one is going to work i'm going to choose the 2d core over here and I'm just going to create a little project over here under a different location. This is my cool test project. How about that, right? So we're just going to name this my cool test project. We're going to hit create project. Now this might take once again a minute or so. It should only take a minute in the first time it gets created. So first time when you're creating a new repository or a new project here for Unity, it might just take a little while until the first time that Unity starts because it has to import everything it has to make sure that everything is you know set up correctly and then every subsequent time that you're going to well open this project it should definitely not take this long it should be a little bit faster so once again just be patient until unity opens and then we can proceed from there Alrighty, and here we are this is what it should look like roughly speaking you're gonna have many different windows and maybe you're gonna be like oh my i don't know what any of this means that is totally fine in future tutorials on this channel i'm basically going to go through some of the basic concepts that you're going to need to make games in unity i'm also going to explain the entirety of the editor right here but that's going to be in a future tutorial as well for the time being the one thing that i want to do is i want you to right click down here in the assets i want you to create a c sharp script so basically you hover over this create you go to c sharp script and you're just going to call this the test that's all you want to do hit enter right and it's going to sort of reload something but then i want you to double click on this and in theory what should happen is that visual studio over here should open automatically it might send you in with with your windows id that is totally fine we can close the what's new over here that does not interest us and if we zoom in over here just hold control and zoom in what you will find is that this may or may not be the case for you mono behavior over here is white this is an indication that something is wrong and that is that visual studio right now does not properly see unity in your installation so if i wanted to change the position of this i would type in this dot transform and you can see i'm not getting any intellisense i'm not getting any suggestions which means something is wrong over here and we can fix this very easily we close visual studio we then go to edit we go to preferences we go to external tools and under the external script editor when it says open by file extension we actually want to specifically select microsoft visual studio 2022 right here and we want to make sure that the embedded packages local packages and here in this case git packages i also have this checked this just makes it a little bit easier for us in the future if we want to add a github repository we're going to hit regenerate project files we're going to close this. If we now open the C sharp file, the test file, you can see all of a sudden this is no longer white. It is actually, it is this teal color. And you can also see this is recognized as a Unity script. This is a Unity message. And if I were to type this dot and you're going to see there's plenty of things that are going to be suggested to us. You know, it's even going to suggest to us here the transform with double tap to autocomplete things. So this is exactly what you want to see. And that's basically how you can fix that. Another thing, the layout right here is by default this now i have my own layout i will make this available so under layout i have this hg layout right the count control layout this is just my personal layout you don't have to use this the basic idea is just that certain things are have moved around right so the hierarchy is on the right the project over here is down in this instance and it is sort of a hierarchy view so that is pretty much all that there is to this one i will make this available for download you can import it via the load layout from file so you can do that if you so choose to but you don't have to that is totally fine and that is unity set up so how about you go straight to this video where we're going to implement some top-down 2D movement. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.